God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Thursday, July 16th. Today's devotional is based on the book of Romans, chapter 6, verses 12 to 23. Therefore, do not let sin exercise dominion in your mortal bodies to make you obey their passions. No longer present your members to sin as instruments of wickedness, but present yourself to God as those who have been brought from death to life, and present your members to God as instruments of righteousness. For sin will have no dominion over you, since you are not under law, but under grace. What then? Should we sin because we are not under law, but under grace? By no means. Do, not, no, do you not know that if you present yourselves to anyone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one whom you obey, either of sin, which leads to death, or of obedience, which leads to righteousness? But thanks be to God that you, having once been slaves of sin, have become obedient from the heart to the form of teaching to which you were entrusted and that you, having been set free from sin, have become slaves of righteousness. I am speaking in human terms because of your natural limitations. For just as you once presented your members as slaves to, to impunity and to greater and greater inequity, so now present your members as slaves to righteousness for sanctification. When you were slaves of sin, you were free in regard to righteousness. So what advantage did you then get from these things of which you are now ashamed? The end of those things is death. But now that you have been freed from sin and enslaved to God, the advantage you get is sanctification. The end is eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. So today's devo devotional was written by Shanitha Monroe. What does Paul mean when he says we are slaves? He is really driving toward the idea of ultimate alle allegiance, loyalty, obedience, and service. To be a slave, as Paul understands it, is to surrender your life to the control of another. When slavery is defined in this way, it turns out we are all slaves of one sort or another. And the question Monroe leaves with us today is, what enslaves you? Let us pray. Your free gift of life eternal is sometimes beyond my ability to understand, O oh God. Thank you. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional. I hope you'll join me again as our weekend, weekends tomorrow. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, keep washing your hands, and start wearing a mask if you haven't done so already. God bless.